Hello and welcome to the Staffing Circle. Welcome to the fourth part of US Staffing Course 2020. This is the most interesting, most boring, but most needed knowledge that every recruiter needs to have about technology. Stay tuned. So let's try understanding what is technology for recruiters. Your job as a recruiter in US staffing industry is to find technical professionals, recruit technical professionals and manage interview coordination with clients. If you have confidence in skills, technologies, then you will have confidence in recruiting people, understanding job description, knowing what client is actually looking. So let's try understand the basics of technology service lines in the staffing industry. So let's see the screen. Information technology for US staffing professionals. Information technology. Information technology is the use of computers to store, retrieve, transmit and manipulate data or information. IT is typically used within the context of business operations as opposed to personal or entertainment technologies. IT is considered to be a subset of information and communication ICT technology. An information technology system, IT system, is generally an information system, a communication system, or more specifically speaking, a computer system including all hardware, software, and peripherals equipment operated by a limited group of users as per Wikipedia. Information technology consists of software, hardware, applications, security, database, communications, servers, internet, network, and support. So there are various IT services organizations provide IT services to different companies, different clients in the United States, which undertakes application development, testing services, business intelligence and data warehousing, enterprise resource planning, business process management, IT infrastructure, cloud and mobility, legacy modernization, product engineering. We will go through each of these things in an abstract way so that you understand the technology landscape IT service line the services which are provided by IT consulting companies in the United States starting from the first we will understand application development testing and maintenance application development and maintenance is called ADM works closely with business to develop new software keep it running and make ongoing improvements. Within this part of IT, business analysts and software developers communicate with executives on the business side to understand their requirements for new and existing applications. Application development could be a web application, mobile apps development, standalone application. Web application or internet-based application, mobile apps are your Android apps, iOS app, Symbian apps, Standalone application does not require internet, so you can use standalone application for without an internet, for example, Microsoft Paint, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and etc. Web. Web consists of front-end and back-end. Front-end web development, also known as client-side development, is a practice of producing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for a website or web application so that a user can see and interact with them directly. Different job titles which are used for front-end technology guys are front-end developer, front-end JavaScript developer, front-end engineer, front-end web developer, UI developer, web developer, Java de JavaScript developer and the skills that are most visible on their resumes are HTML, CSS, JavaScript and etc. Backend developer. Backend development also stylized as backend or backend development is a skill that powers the web backend development languages handle the behind the scene functionality of web applications. It's codes that connect the web to a database, manages user connections and power the web application itself. Job titles of the web development guys who are backend developers are backend developer, backend developer, backend engineer, backend application developer, backend engineer. Skills usually you will see on the backend developer resume are PHP, Python, 
Ruby, Java, Rust, C, C++, Go, or VB. So the finally the third part of web development is middleware. As we have seen front end, back end, this is a middleware. There are three different definitions of middleware. In the business computing, middleware is messaging and integration software between applications and services. In gaming, middleware is pretty well anything that is provided by a third party. In some embedded software systems, middleware provides services that applications use which are composed out of the functions provided by the hardware abstraction layer. It sits between the application layer and the hardware abstraction layer. Middleware. Middleware are of different types. So here I have mentioned different kind of middlewares we have today available. The skills that we see on our technical backend, frontend web development developers are Lynx, Oracle Fusion Middleware, WebLogic Server, Wildfly, Classfish, Tomcat, WebSphere Application Server, Apache, Gerinomi, IIS, Jetty, JBoss, SOA, MuleSoft, BizTalk Server, Tipco EMS, IBM WebSphere MQ, Layer 7, RabbitMQ, and Django. There are 14 types of middleware software that can be used to solve various problems for either enterprise or platform purposes including application programming interface API, application server, application integration, content centric middleware, data integration, device middleware, embedded middleware, games engines, message oriented middleware, object request broker, portals, remote procedure call, robotic middleware, transaction processing. Middleware consultants will have titles like middleware consultant, middleware engineer, middleware specialist, middleware platform engineer, or I can future middleware developer. Like you can see different middleware frameworks included with different technology platforms. Media framework include GStreamer, StageFright, OpenMax, Life555, Redux Show Filter. Test framework includes CTS, Windows, CE, TestKit. Network protocol includes RTP, RTSP, RSVP, SIP, and MMS. Streaming servers, industrial servers, web servers, message framework servers, database servers, codec integration servers, with wireless display standard servers, cloud application integration such as Samsung, Arctic, Amazon, and Google. Let's understand mobile app development. Mobile app development is an act or process by which a mobile app is developed for mobile devices such as personal digital assistants, enterprise digital assistants, or mobile phones. These applications can be pre-installed on phone during manufacturing platforms or del delivered as web applications using server-side or client-side processing, example JavaScript, to provide an application like experience within a web browser. There are different mobile app applications that I have listed in this video, such as Accelerator Platform. It uses language HTML5 and C Sharp. Mobile Together. It uses XPath, XQuery, Action Trees Visual Programming Language. Android. It uses Java, but portions of code can be in C, C++, and Kotlin. App Inventor for Android. It uses Visual Blocks based programming language with Interface Designer. App Selector. It uses JavaScript as a language. Blackberry. It uses Java. Codename. It uses Java. Corona SDK uses Java. Dragon Brad uses Visual Drag and Drop tiles. GenZex uses knowledge representation and declarative programming modeling for easy development. Then code is automatically generated for each platform. These are all mobile app development platforms which uses different languages along with the descriptions. iOS SDK software development kit. It uses Objective C, Swift, Java. ME it uses Java programming Java platform Java ME is a micro edition of Java ME computing platform for development deployment of portable code for embedded and mobile devices IBM mobile first studio it uses 
HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and native SDK languages with native Worklight API. Intel XZK. It uses HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and Nord WebKit backend. Lazarus is used as object Pascal language. We have mobile application development platform called Lambda Native, which uses Scheme as a language, and we have Live Code, which uses Live Code as its own language. We have Micromedia Flashlight, which uses Action Script. We have Marmalite, which uses C and C++, and we have Mimi IDE that uses Mimi Script. We have Mendix which uses HTML5 and Java. We have Monaka which uses HTML5, CSS and JavaScript. We have Mono for Android which uses C Sharp and we have Mono Touch which uses C Sharp again and we have MoSync which uses C, C++, Lua, HTML5, CSS, JavaScript. Finally we have NetBeans which uses C++, Java, OpenPlug which uses Action Scripts and XML. PhoneGap and Apache Cordova, which uses HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Unity. Unity uses C Sharp, JavaScript, Boo, other .NET based languages. Xamarin. Xamarin is a Microsoft owned San Francisco based software company founded in May 2011 by the engineers that created Mono, Xamarin, Android, and Xamarin iOS, which are close cross-platform implementation of common language infrastructure and common language specification. Xamarin uses C Sharp. Then we have mobile backend servers. The mobile backend platforms can be seen here and the programming languages it uses. Altova Mobile Together Server uses browser-based interface programming languages. Go App Zone by Global PLC uses JavaScript, custom integrations connectors, server side logic, C Sharp, VB.NET. IBM Mobile Server uses HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and native SDK languages with native Worklight API. We have Metismo that uses Java. We have Wakanda which uses JavaScript. We have Verivo Akula which uses Java. We, we have Web RB integration server that uses C Sharp, VB.NET, Java, PHP, Ashton Script, JavaScript, Objective C, XML. Then we have mobile security add on rails on mobile application development that uses platform called Adobe AIR, Brew, Firefox OF, .NET Compact Framework, OpenFL, and Palm operating system. We have Python. Symbian, Tyson, Ubuntu Touch, WebOS, Windows Mobile, and Windows Phone. In the mobile application development, when the development happens, the second phase of mobile application development is mobile app testing. Mobile applications are first tested within the development environment using emulators and later subjected to field testing. Emulators provide an inexpensive way to test applications on mobile phone to which developer may not have physical access. The following are the examples tools used for testing application across the most popular mobile operating system. Google Android Emulator, the official Android SDK emulator, test iPhone, iPhone E, Blackberry Simulator, Windows UI Automation, Mobile One Developer, and tools include Eggplant, Renorex, TestDroid. Finally, we have standalone application. Standalone applications, we have three different types that is standalone application, client server application, web based application. Software installed in one computer and used by only one person, for example, installing software of a calculator, Adobe Photoshop, MS Office, and AutoCAD. In client server application, unlike standalone application, part of the application is installed on the client side system and the remaining part is installed on the server machine. Web-based application, any application which can be accessed through the URL is called web-based application. In the web-based application, entire software is installed at the server. User access the application from a browser using URL. The second part of the technology is QA testing applications. Testing tool in software, testing can be defined as products that support various test activities starting from planning, requirement gathering, build creation, test execution, 
defect logging and test analysis. These testing tools are mainly used for testing software, firmness, thoroughness and other performance parameters. There are different type of testing, those is, includes test management, automated testing, cross browser testing, load testing, defect text tracking, mobile testing, API testing, security testing, CSS validator. Test management includes X-ray, test pad, practice test, test rail, test monitor. Automated testing includes 21, head spin, Parasoft Selenic, Squish, Ranorex. Test project, Selenium, Quick Test Professional, Vartir, Test Team. Apply tools, test complete. Cross browsing testing tools includes Lambda test, Browsera, Cross browser testing tools include Source Labs, Ghost Lab, Browser Shorts, and load testing tools include Webload, Load Runner, WAP, Load UI Pro, Silk Performer, JMeter, Agile Load, Load Focus, Blaze Meter, Load Impact, and defect tracking tools include Jira, Mantis Hub, Fogbugs, Bugzilla, Bugnet, Bugginy. Redmine. Finally, mobile testing tools include APM, Espresso, Perfecto, Experites, Robotium. API testing tools include SOAP UI, SOAP Sonar, Web Inject, Trecentis. Security tools include NetSparker, OAPS, Acunitix, Vulnerability Scanner. CSS validator tools include W3C CSS validator Telerik Studio. In the third part of the technology, we have data warehousing and business intelligence. Data warehousing is a process of constructing and using a data warehouse. A data warehouse is constructed by integrating data from multiple heterogeneous sources that support analytical reporting, structured or ad hoc queries and decision making. There are different data warehousing business intelligence tools include Amazon Redshift, Microsoft Azure, Google BigQuery, Snowflake, Microsoft Focus Vertica, Teradata, Amazon DynamoDB, PostgreSQL, Amazon Relationship Database Services, Amazon Simple Storage Services, and SAP HANA, MarkLogic, Moria Database, DB2 Warehouse, Exadata, BI360 Data Warehouse, Cloudera. Business Intelligence. Let's understand first what is Business Intelligence. Business Intelligence is a software, is a set of tools used by companies to retrieve, analyze and transform data into useful business insights. Examples of Business Intelligence tools include data visualization, data warehousing, dashboards and reporting. It includes the tools which we have today available in business intelligence are SAP by SAP company, SAP business intelligence, micro strategy, data pine, SAS business intelligence, Yellowfin business intelligence, Qlik Sense, Qlik View, Zuhu Analytics, SciSense, Microsoft Power business intelligence, Looker, Clear Analytics, Tableau, Oracle business intelligence, Domo, IBM Cognos Analytics, Dundas Business Intelligence, Alteryx Platform Analytics, Salesforce Einstein Analytics, ThoughtSpot, Google Chats, and Bode Intelligence. In the fourth part of the technology, we have Business Process Management. Business Process Management software supports the activity of BPM by allowing users to design, model, execute, automate, and analyze process workflows. A process is usually defined as, as a set of activities or tasks that are linked together based on conditions. Process might involve person-to-person -person interactions or system-to-system. -system. The business process management includes in employee onboarding process, design, expense reporting, time of request, account management, invoice management, loan origination, compliance management, customer requests and service orders, complaint management, project management or development. 
Business process management is a field in operations management that focuses on improving corporate performance by managing and optimizing a company's business process. It can therefore be described as process optimization process. Approach closely resembles, resembles other total quality management or continuous improvement process methodologies and BPM proponents also claim that this approach T and D has significantly reduced their process costs and throughout times thereby boosting efficiency which has further helped them to achieve business process excellence. Let's see various BPM advisory assessment services, implementation services, business services and application integration services. This gives you insight about the various BPM sites that includes advisory, implementation, business and application integration middleware services. These are the list of BPM tools that is Monday.com, Rick, ActiveBatch, Studio, Creation Enterprise, Zuhu One, Zuhu Creator, Studio Creatio Free, Orchestly, Kissflow, Team Desk, Nintex, Tipco BPM, Concept Draw, PRO, Mind Body, Laser Fish, Process Street, Pepfy, Workflow Gen, Commoditor, Integrify, Glue, Laser Fish, Flugzu, Metatask, Signa VO Engage, Process Modeler, Tonkin, Pulp Stream, API and BPN Suit, Agile Point NX, IBM Operational Decision Manager, Oracle BPM, Bizaki BPM Suit, OpenText App Works for Platform, Oracle Fusion Middleware, Red Hat Process Automation Manager, formerly Red Hat JBoss BPM Suit, and Pega BPM. In the fifth part of the technology, we have Enterprise Resource Planning which refers to a type of software that organizations use to manage day-to-day -day business activities such as accounting, procurement, project management, risk management, and compliance. Finally, the supply chain operations. There are various types of ERP, ARPs, larger, smaller ERPs. So let's discuss the generalist ERP. Many legacy and cloud ERP solutions are generalists. They adapt to processes across industries. These solutions have strong customization and integration to match varying industry requirements. It's also not a surprise given its large market generalist ERP vendors are also one of the largest. Example, ERP, SAP R3, and B1, NetSuite, JD Edwards. Vertical ERP. These are industry-specific ERPs. Often, vertical vendors are startups or smaller companies that try to focus on niche such as construction, supermarket distribution or retail fashion. Example Microsoft Dynamics AX, Brightpearl, Epicore Retail. Small business ERPs are off-the-shelf cloud or on-premise ERP solutions. Often this ERP is modularized with pair with pared down features instead of delivering a fully integrated system. Small ERP serves one or two business processes and leaves out the others. For instance, it features HRM and accounting functionality only, with add-on options for CRM, inventory, supply chain management. For these small businesses, ERP is also referred to as lightweight ERP, example PeopleSoft. Open source ERP are the solutions still a tiny fraction of the total ERP market, but solutions like Odoo ERP lend to companies with resident tech teams that open source ERP solutions are still a tiny fraction of the total ERP market, but solutions like Odoo ERP lend to companies with resident tech teams the flexibility to develop and integrate their own apps into the ERP. For developers, open source increases usability and user ad adoption because the ERP can churn out highly customized processes. Example, Odoo. We have different type of ERP definitions includes SAP, R3 module, B1 module. We have Microsoft ERP that includes Microsoft, NAV. We have BAN. We have Oracle, Enterprise One, eBusiness Suite Financials, PeopleSoft. In the sixth part of technology, we have 
IT infrastructure. Information technology infrastructure is defined broadly as a set of information technology components that are foundation of an IT service, typically physical components, computer and networking, hardware and facilities, but also various software and network components. As data storage and management becomes more digitized, IT infrastructure is moving towards the cloud. Infrastructure as a service provides the ability to host on a server and is a platform for cloud computing. There are various type of IT infrastructure services platforms such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service are all different models of how companies can choose to go with their IT roadmap. Companies can carry this function out themselves or they can hire a firm that can do this for them. They can hire a firm that can do this for them via private cloud. Additionally, they can also go with public cloud with, which would potentially involve either Microsoft Azure, Amazon, Amazon Web Services or Google's cloud. Key components of IT infrastructure includes hardware, network, operating system, software. In the IT infrastructure management, we have server management as well. Server management is a process of monitoring and maintaining servers to operate at peak performances. Server management also encompasses the management of hardware, software, security and backups. Build secure server environments, ensure servers to continue meet the needs of an organization as it involves. There are different IT server management tools which we have called SolarWind Server and Application Monitor, Parslayer, PRTG Network Monitor, Site 24 into 7 Server Monitoring, Manage Engine Applications Manager, Atera, Server, Density, Nagios XI, Isinga, Instrumental, Zabbix, Opify, Monitis, Anturis, Mota Data Server Monitoring Tool. IT infrastructure also includes network management. Network management is defined as the process of managing a network for fault and performance using various tools and technologies to keep up with the business requirement. The objective of network management is to achieve an error-free network. A small number of accessory methods exist to support network and network device management. Network management allow IT professionals to monitor network components within large network area. Access method includes SNMP, command line interface, custom XML, CMIP, Windows management instrumentation, transaction language 1, CORBA, NetConf and the Java management extensions. Schemas include the structure of management information, WBEM, the common information model, and MTOSI, amongst other. In the IT infrastructure management, we also have database management. A database is a collection of information that is organized so that it can be easily accessed, managed, and updated. Computer database typically contain aggregation of data records or files containing information about sales transaction or interaction with specific customers. The tools, database management tools are Oracle, 12C, MySQL, Microsoft SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, MariaDB, DB2, SAP HANA. IT inf infrastructure also includes IT security management. IT security management consists of process. To IT security management consists of processes to enable organization structure and technology to protect an organization IT operations and assets against internal and external threats, intentionally or otherwise. These processes are developed to ensure confidentiality, integrity, and availability of IT systems. There are various types of roles within IT security management. Those are all called ITIL role, information security manager, service owner, applications analyst, technical analyst, IT operator, facilities manager. Their job is to manage design of security controls, security testing, management of security incident, security review. There are different type of popular ITL roles such as incident management. There are popular ITIL roles such as incident manager, change manager, business relationship manager, project manager, service labor manager. The ITIL foundation 
service strategy talks about service transition service design service operations service strategy roles includes demand manager financial manager it steering group service portfolio manager service strategy manager and the service design consists of applications analyst availability manager capacity manager compliance manager enterprise architect information security manager it service continuity manager risk manager service catalog manager service level manager service owner supplier manager technical analyst service transition includes application developers change advisory board chain manager configuration manager emergency change advisory board knowledge manager project manager release manager test manager and the service operation side of itl foundation the top roles are first level support executive second support second level support executive third level support executive and the other roles within that are access manager facilities manager incident manager it operations manager it operator major incident team problem manager service request fulfillment group continual service improvement roles include csi manager process architect process owner and itr roles outside the it organizations are customer service user finally in the it infrastructure we have virtualization solutions virtualization is the process of running a virtual instance of a computer system in a layer abstracted from the actual hardware most commonly it refers to running multiple operating system on a computer system simultaneously so virtualization include desktop virtualization application virtualization network virtualization storage virtualization and server virtualization finally in the seventh part of technology we have cloud mobility the cloud mobility is a process of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store manage and process data rather than a local server or a personal computer telecommunication infrastructure services provide setup maintenance and consulting for data and voice communication technologies example of telecommunication infrastructure services include optical fiber installation cell tower site location radio antenna testing and the installation standard phone equipment and data networks telecommunication infrastructure services provider include satellite companies phone companies internet service providers most telecommunication infrastructure services can help customer determine their telecommunication infrastructure requirement the cost of telecommunication infrastructure design varies widely and depends upon the scope of the service provided in the cloud mobility we have something called smack technology that is social mobile analytics and cloud technology while social mobile analytics and cloud technologies add a new dimension to your business model to fully maximize their value consider the sum is greater than its part the formula for the future of work is called smack that is social mobile analytics and cloud on one integrated stack where each function enables another to maximize their effect this is the new enterprise it model delivering an organization that is more connective collaborative real time and productive technology in perspective today's smack stack the fifth wave of it architecture is happening faster than anything that's combined before today's smack stack the fifth wave of it architecture is happening faster than anything that's come before by 2020 as many as 100 billion computing devices will be connected to the web and corporations will be managing 50 times the data they do currently so smack will have a multiplying effect on businesses and increase productivity across the organizations real examples are retailers which are strategically deploying smack stack across a key business process to combine the best of virtual and physical retail shopping experience now a customer's mobile device can be a signal store management while they are shopping advanced analytics arms associates with the right knowledge about the shopper so that they can provide more valuable assistance and customers can compare product get information and redeem targeted offers from the cloud while in the stores so we have the business intelligence analytics integrated devices with application converted structure and structured data id infrastructure services 
divides into software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Software as a service includes business intelligence analytics, integrated devices with applications, convert structured and structured database, website and forums, database engine SOA middleware for platform as a service, infrastructure as a service includes hardware, operating system, data storage and network. The SaaS consists of analytics platform which could be derived from mobile or from social media sites that comes into software as a service and in the platforms we have database engine, service oriented architecture, middleware and in the information in the infrastructure as a service includes hardware, operating system, data storage and network. For an example, an automobile manufacturer using smack stack to engage with customers. They implement on their corporate website analytics engine will help them track customer relationship management feedback management complaints analysis offers services targeted marketing kpi and qa those websites provide information about customers that includes inquiries bookings and complaints a, com a company's website communicates on different social media and professional medium channels through different devices such as a company's corporate website advertises on different professional social mediums on different devices. So through a corporate website, SMAC technologies is used for gaining customer loyalty, gaining insight into customer mind and offering tailor-made solutions, track opinion about company in social media, identify target areas to market. In the eighth part of the technology, we have legacy modernization. A legacy system is any application based on older methods or technologies that continue to be used. Even though more efficient methods or improved technologies are now available, legacy modernization is a continuous process of transforming legacy systems in order to reduce IT environment complexity and cost, increase data consistency, enable cross collaboration and improve process flexibility. Legacy modernization, also known as software modernization or platform modernization, refers to the conversion, rewriting or porting of a legacy system to a modern computer programming language, software libraries, protocols or hardware platform. Unified Legacy Migration Framework Legacy applications are COBOL, Natural, PL1, EGL, Informix, Objectstar, Legacy data stores are Adabas, DB2, Informix, ISAM, VSAM, IDMS, IMS, and we have Liberator Workbench that is Repository, Knowledge Liberator, Code Liberator, Data Liberator, Apps Tester. And then we have Client Site Framework that includes HTML, JavaScript, ASP.NET, MVC3. We have Middleware that uses WebLogic, GlassFish, WebSphere. MS IIS that is .NET we have relational database to legacy modernization which includes Oracle, MongoDB and MS SQL. Finally in the IT side of recruitment we have product engineering. Product engineering refers to the process of designing and developing a device assembly or system such that it produces as an item for sale through some production manufacturing process. Technologies used for product engineering are kernel level programming. The kernel is a computer program at the core of a computer's operating system with complete control over everything in the system. It is an integral part of any operating system. It is the portion of the operating system code that is always resident in the memory. The objectives of kernel is to establish communication between user level application and hardware to decide state of income incoming processes to control disk management to control memory management and is to control task management we have different kind of kernels that that is monolithic kernel micro kernel hybrid kernel exo kernel nano kernel with this we have covered nine part of information technology technical roles different type of technology solution platform softwares applications the technology part is always growing so you will have every time a new tool in the market that is helping 
uh, address our problem through a software as a service, platform as a service or infrastructure as a service. It is important to have real-time knowledge so that you have all the understanding of technology stack that is required for you to uh, gain knowledge and to recruit better technical professionals. If you are looking for uh, getting in-depth knowledge and a detailed presentation, you can request for this presentation for a nominal charge. You can send me an email at info at the rate the staffing circle dot com. We are going to extend this web series and especially the technological part. We have not covered some of the IT applications in the healthcare domain that we are currently using that includes healthcare medical records and uh, medical records and healthcare records part of these things so we have different tools for medical records management healthcare records management we will discuss in another series of this thing so we will keep on sharing so that you can perform your recruitment activities better thank you so much for watching the part 4 take care